So Ramadan 2018 went pretty well. It went super fast. And as much as I wish that it would stay longer, I'm one of those people who loves my food. So yeah, I couldn't help but hope for it to go faster. So funny enough, I was looking through all my clips and I literally just spent like every clip talking about how I wanted to eat food, which is embarrassing. And I just wanted to eat it, but I'll be eating that just now. Oh, look at that chow mein. Oh. So now I'm like thinking, oh, a sausage roll would be so good right about now. So on my way to work today and I'm hungry again. I should text my mom and find out what she made for Iftar. And it just complained a lot during the month saying I'm quite hungry and tired. And that's probably because my body wasn't used to not having that much of food and not being able to drink a ton of water during the day. Um, I tend to drink quite a bit of water. Cool, so what is Ramadan? And that's pretty difficult to kind of explain because you kind of grow up with this idea that it's this month you fast in it. And as you kind of go, get older, people start asking you this question like, what is it? And you kind of have to come up with a a way to answer them nicely without sounding like you've just been told and you do. So that's kind of been something that I've been com coming to grips with over the past couple of years. Um, just trying to figure out, you know, why do I fast? Because I do it, but um, you know, the goal is not necessarily clear every year. I mean, the thing that's sort of come out for me in the month is the fact that, you know, it is a fundamental pillar within the religion. So it's one of the five pillars of Islam. If you start reading up about intermittent fasting or just dry fasting in general, you'll find out the tons of benefits that come from it. I think it makes you feel a lot more patient. Yeah, so it's um, about being practicing your patience and kind of just feeling like, you know, you're a part of something much bigger than you. And I think that's something that's quite cool out of, that comes out of Ramadan because for me this year I found that someone in my company was married to a Muslim woman and so therefore he sort of gravitates towards um, the religious belief and he he kind of told me this as a result of us just having a conversation about me not being in work for Eid and I felt very cool I thought it was very cool because it sort of kind of makes you feel connected to people because people are more willing to talk about. I had a ton of religious conversations and just conversations with people about their belief systems in this month. And I just felt it was very cool because oftentimes you don't know what people believe religiously and it's a very personal thing. It's not something that we discuss quite often as people. And uh, for me, this month just kind of introduces questions and conversations amongst people. I think it's very cool. Um, so for me, that's something that definitely come, came out of this month, which was talking to people and just learning about their religions and, and sort of just the awareness that it brings to um, people and their beliefs. I managed to get through the entire month. Um, the last week generally is kind of eat prep and doing your eat shopping. Um, and this year I decided to go with Yusuf for eat shopping, which was quite fun. Yay! So we're going to do some heat shopping and uh, he's like the fussiest person on earth. So we just found a mini Cooper. Yeah. So we're gonna start icing these for Eid. Um, so it's officially Eid morning. We
breakfast is done and I am about to whoop my scarf off because I don't like scarves. Yay, so the eat breakfast is officially over and I'm kind of just hanging out right now and yeah, I kind of can chill a bit. Um, it always gets super, super hectic. Very, very um, busy, busy morning, but at least we get the afternoon to kind of relax. Um, eat afternoon, we generally at home. We don't we used to have lunch with my grandparents, but not anymore um, And then in the evening we spend with my mom's brothers So this year it just so happens that it's at our house. So um, Yeah, my mom's two brothers will come to our house in Springs and um, My mom's one other brother is in New York. He used to come Well, we used to do eat at his house and he used to come here um, but he's relocated a little while ago, so we're definitely gonna miss him and his family and Then the other person that will be missing in action is my uncle Salim. So that's my mom's Not oldest the second brother um, It's his first daughter, so she's not gonna be here and um, She's actually in the UAE um, She's relocated there to teach so she and her husband and her little one won't be eldest brothers oldest son Yasser and his wife Hina and their kids won't be here so yeah we definitely the it feels like the family is getting a bit smaller <laughs> no man what are you doing you <laughs> see they they smart they make <laughs> officially done and uh, yeah we can go sleep now <laughs>